Dalton. Almost didn't expect to see you. Hey, Ryder. Because of Kadara's little change in management. Sloan was good to me, but she's dead. My need something? Thanks for your time. <sighs> Back to work. Writer, since you made nice with the powers that be here, I'm feeling a lot less animosity from the average outlaw. They're tolerating us. Don't take it for granted. Don't take your alliance with Reyes for granted either, no matter how charming he might be. Fighting the good fight. Pathfinder, it's good to see you again. Likewise, Kima. If you're looking for the charlatan, he's not here. We agreed it would be mutually beneficial if I was the face of Kadara Port. How's the mood in Kadara since Sloane's death? I doubt we'll ever achieve unanimous approval, but my people are happy to be under Angaran rule again. Sloane made a lot of enemies, even among your people. It's a welcome change. You're not worried people think you're a figurehead for the charlatan? My ass does more than just sit in this chair. The charlatan listens to me more than Sloane ever did. Was it always the plan for you to take Sloane's place? It was a requirement for my cooperation, yes. As Sloane's Angaran representative, I had more access to the outcasts than the average Kadara citizen. Also, I could rally the Angara to the collective side. I take it you know the charlatan's true identity? I'm one of the select few. I told him to tell you earlier, but he worried about what you'd think. It was adorable, really. The outcasts have disappeared from the port. Not completely. Kytus is still moaning in the holding cells. But the others have scattered. I'm told there's still plenty in the Badlands. Watch your back. Many blame you for Sloane's death. What will you do with Kytus? The safest option is to execute him. 
But the charlatan thinks he's worth something. Oh? He was Sloane's confidant. The charlatan won't kill him until he's learned every dirty secret. I should be going. See you soon, Pathfinder. You were right, Ryder. Now that the political conflict is resolved, Gadara Port is growing on me. Growing like the searing pain of an infected flesh wound. I've been keeping this to myself, but I feel the need to be honest. I hate it here. You complain every time we dock here. Why don't you wait on the ship? I'm afraid of missing out. Scott. Kima looks like she was playing with that job. Things were going to be better for a while. Absolutely. Sloan should have killed you the day we met. This isn't how I wanted things to go. I'm sorry. Damn your apologies. You were there. You could have saved her, but you didn't. Why? Sloan made it clear she would never forgive the Nexus. How soon do you think she'd have declared war on the Initiative? Not soon enough, apparently. You better hope the charlatan kills me, Ryder, because if I ever get out of here... Goodbye, Kytus. Sloan should have killed you the day we met. Don't blame me. Sloan agreed to the duel. <laughs> A duel? I know what happened. The sniper who pulled the trigger rubbed it in my face when he locked me up. You were there. You could have saved her, but you didn't. Why? I just didn't like her. You better hope the charlatan kills me, Ryder, because if I ever get out of here... Goodbye, Kytus. You're not on nomad guard duty? No need. Words got around. Wonder how Kadara will change now that Reyes is running the show. Reyes took over to keep the peace. Hopefully he'll follow through. That's why he said he took Kadara after some lying and murdering. We can't forget what he is. Thank you. 
Lex, he wanted to speak to you. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Hey, Jal. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. I can see how that help. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I, I'm not sure yet. She's a Turian. 
She might like something a little more hands-on. <laughs> Good to know. I'll think about that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial and garandaga for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to... Keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. Kadara Port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. Of all the ideas so far, it's the one most likely to blow up in our face. Well, thanks for the inspiration. Any other bubbles you want to burst? What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Pathfinder, the trap you set in the cargo bay, we got blit. Hey. We can talk more later. Sure. Hi there. You must be the one eating all our cereal. Hey, it's okay. No one's going to eat you. You know, Pathfinders are supposed to catalog all new life forms. I should find you somewhere safer than our cargo bay. We'll find you a world with lots of plants and let you go. How about that? Guess everybody around here needs a home. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship? This might not be pretty. Are you... Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do.
there much to say about that facility on Vault? Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. I know it was really personal. Thank you for trusting me with it. You say that like I was making logical choices. Thanks for getting it. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl? Look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are kept. There must be a way to fix them. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. We've barely scratched the surface of what Cat are capable of. The Exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation, it's a birth. There's no going back. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Hello, Scott. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Thresher Moors eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Uh... Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. 
There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that.
now orbiting Kadara. Interested? Good, thanks. If you're worried about the cost... I said I'm good. Don't be a shit, Costa. You don't have to like me to accept that I want to keep you alive. You live, I live. That's how it goes. Fair. Look me up. Resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
was with that fight back there? It's called flanking. Your shields were drained. Their shields get hit, they drain. That's what they're for. Risky, irresponsible. Yeah, I'm gonna take a lecture on responsibility from you. What's that supposed to mean? Just keep your judgment to yourself, unless you want the same. Got them all. That responsibility thing. It's about my sister, isn't it? Good sleuthing, Sherlock. Gold star. Your mouth's gonna get your ass in trouble. My mouth didn't drag a kid to Andromeda. Screw you, Costa. She had a choice. Some choice. Lose you or come here. Crazy how upbeat she is, considering. Stay out of my shit and don't talk to my sister.
Hilfe.
time to interface. Pathfinder's making the rounds. If you can step away from your rock collection for... They're drill core samples. Not a rock... Oh, he's here. <laughs> Pathfinder. Name's Riff. Mining engineer for Outpost of Taon. Chris was giving you a hard time? <laughs> Always. But that's just his way. I don't mind. What do you think of Kadara? Mineral-wise, she's a gold mine. 
Carter is already putting Kadara's resources to practical use. What about people-wise? Oh, I'm not really a people person. But the Collective seem alright. They certainly know the area. What exactly does a mining engineer do? Oh, we're involved in every step of the mining process. Christmas is a good guy. A good miner. But he needs me to help decide where to drill. And when to stop. Good chatting with you, Riff. Anytime, Pathfinder. Wait. Don't come any closer. Okay. <sighs> False alarm. Thought there might be some acid splash. You're sure it's safe? Absolutely. Wouldn't say otherwise. Nessie Carter, science officer for Outpost at Taeon. You must be the Pathfinder. Were you also a part of Mining Company 7? Yes. Well, no, I wasn't a miner, but I worked with Christmas and the others. They're my family. You came to Helios to be with them? I know it's silly since I'll outlive them, statistically speaking, anyway. But I just couldn't let them go on such an adventure without me. What are you working on? A hyperpotent phosphate fertilizer using Kadara's natural abundance of sulfuric acid. Hyperpotent? That's good, right? Absolutely. My work will be essential in providing nutrients for gardens across Helios. When we have gardens, which we will, because of you. See you around, Carter. Yep. Bye, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Amazing. Pathfinder, thank goodness you're here. I would like to discuss my transfer. Transfer? To a different outpost, of course. I can't stay here. It's barbaric. You'll have to take it up with Addison. I have. She refused. Guess you're out of luck, then. Uh, I'll have to see if Drew can get me some scented candles. Anything to mask the smell. How are your patients? Fine, of course. They're in my care. Any serious injuries? Blunt force trauma, all kinds of wounds. Those outcasts are brutes. They attack anyone and everyone affiliated with the initiative. The Collective's supposed to provide protection. They do, but they can't protect everyone, hence wanting a transfer. Tell me about yourself, Dr. Sanvi. I was first in my class at Harvard and completed my residency at Johns Hopkins before setting up a private practice on Ilium. I think that about sums it up. It's an impressive resume, but it doesn't mean much in Helios. Yes, well, I made enemies with the wrong people. My options were Andromeda or hiding out on Omega. I'm not sure I made the right decision. Stay out of trouble, Dr. Sanvi. I don't know the meaning of the word.
See you around, Drew. Keep fighting the good fight, Pathfinder. Of course not. <laughs> I like you, kid. Pathfinder, how's it going? Old Skinner is no more. I heard. Shame about Bishop. He was crazy, but a good worker. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. <laughs> 